So Massive X just got a completely free version, the Massive X Player, and it looks like this. It's really fun and easy to play around with the new XY pad and the animator. But do you remember that when Mass Effect came out in 2019, the reception was a bit mixed? The original Massive was an iconic synth that had huge impact on electronic music when it was released almost 20 years ago. So native instruments were always gonna have a hard time replicating the success of the OG and I believe there are two main reasons why they couldn't. The first reason is that synths like these are just a commodity now. In 2006, the OG Massive was a game changer that created whole genres of music. It enabled producers to achieve the sound quality and flexibility of legendary synths like the Access Virus at a fraction of the price and run as many instances as their CPU allowed. While in 2019, when Massive X came out, there were already so many complex and sophisticated wavetable monster synths that were really, really good. For example, Serum had already replaced Massive as the go-to synth for bass music producers. So NI had a tough task at their hands. And honestly, I think Massive X sounds exceptionally good. It's still one of the best sounding synths in this category. And here's the second reason it wasn't received very well. The UI wasn't really inviting and intuitive. Granted, such complex synths are generally not super easy to use, but there was something about the Mass Effect UI that a lot of people just didn't find inspiring. So now there is an easier way to interact with this lush and fat sounding synth engine in the form of this new UI. And in fact, this is the actual UI you see when you load the paid version of Mass Effects as well. But of course, with the paid version, you have access to the edit tab where the regular Massive X UI is. So this new UI focuses on easy preset browsing, macro controls, and morphing between different values of the macros with the XY pad. So the four corners of the pad are just variations of the preset that you floated and you can roll the dice for each corner to generate a random variation for this particular corner. and just mess around with the pad to alter the sound. Or we can activate the animator to do it for you with interesting shapes and curves and control over speed, which can also be synced to your DAW's tempo. You can also exclude any of the macros from the XY pad by clicking on these orange buttons above the macros. So the animation doesn't alter the sound in ways that you don't want or like. So here's a quick sketch I made with some of the new sounds in the Massive X player library and unfortunately most of the presets and expansions aren't necessarily made for hip-hop, funk or soul music but I still found some, some cool sounds. So here's this brass that's not from the Massive X player library so it's not from the free library that comes with the Massive X player and when I enabled the animator added some nice movement to it. Then this fat bass. And some sort of lead thing. And so when we play them all together, So 
this free Massive X player is included in Complete Start and it comes with 60 stock presets and a free bass music expansion. There are also 5 new Mass Effects expansions that you can buy for 19 euro or dollars and these are made to work with the new XY pad. So that's all for this quick video, hit the like button if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you are new here and I will catch you later.